All right, so this is part of the reason I like this home site, Mark, is, you know, there's not too many home sites in here that have a lake and a preserve view in the back. There's just not. Uh, so, uh, you know, you got a new, no rooftop view. Of course, you have these rooftops, I suppose. But your direct exposure is right here. You have a pool and spa. To me, you know, if you were to drive around uh, River Strand, how many home sites have that? Not many, not many, because they're just hard to find now, um, especially in a lot of these other master plan communities where they clear cut everything. So this is kind of nice is this is the um, the lanai that almost runs the full course of the backside of the home here. That's your owner's retreat. But you got a lot of under under roof area here, which is really nice. Here is your. And so you have these quadruple sliding doors. I mean, that's the big deal. Your outdoor becomes in, your indoor becomes out. That is a big deal to me because you got that right in the middle there. If I were to push that through, you basically have this whole area open for when the winter happens. I love this floor plan, uh, and that's part of the reason why. It's pretty versatile. I'm not really crazy about how they set it up, but it looks like it's staged. Um, but lots of room here, great room. It's got a... Uh, a tray ceiling, pretty decent sized kitchen here, lots of space. You could probably put an island right here. Going over to the owner's retreat. Good size space here, absolutely ample. Again, your view looks right out to that. That was your first view when you, uh, when you wake up. Not gonna spend too much time, but his and hers closets. Pretty decent size here. Pretty decent size here. It's your shower. This is your furnace. And so this is kind of a hybrid floor plan. A lot of people will use this as an office, but it's got egress and it's got a closet, so it can be a third bedroom easily. And then you have your other guest quarters right here in the front. Nice, light, and bright, too. So this is about 1,800 square feet and some chains, somewhere in that neighborhood. So really good, balanced size. Of course, you have your brick paver driveway. And I'll show you. You're also pretty close to the gate here, but not too close, which is nice. And there you have it. There's 119. This I like a lot.